at this stage of the news hour discussion Ahmad Hamid former sports journalist uh, sports journal I'm so sorry I'm referring to so many people as former cr cricketers that I called you a former sports journalist I'm sorry thank you very much Ahmad no, good like stick it out <laughs> in of whatever is happening I tell you <laughs> well there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of uh, cricket bosses there who would like to make me a former journalist but like you I'll hold to my job for now the question here is this uh, Ahmad that uh, Mr Hariharan former international umpire I first want to come to you sir Mr Hariharan uh, can you hear me yeah I can uh, you see Mr Hariharan uh, I have been asking you only one question over the last one week what about the umpires and you've always said the umpires not really and today I'll tell you what I have heard about Asad Rauf Asad Rauf was in touch with Vindu Dara Singh I'll put his pictures on air as I speak for our viewers who don't know this man. The most damaging part, according to my sources, is that he was in touch with the bookies. He has accepted lots of gifts and cash from the bookies. Now, Asad Rauf was being used in influencing crunch decisions. I just want if our producers can play the pictures of Asad Rauf as I speak. These are the decisions that are in his hands, in the hands of the umpire. He was passing on the inside information to the bookies. He would pass information such as Mr. Hari Haran, pitch is too fast, yeah. hmm? pitch is too slow, and he has also been passing on information that he would overhear from the bowling team. <laughs> Actually, yeah, with this uh, new what we are, what I am seeing through the TV, what I am seeing through the media, I am definitely devastated. Because like normally the umpires, I would say that they are the custodians of the law and we are support, supposed to uphold the spirit of the game right on the field and outside also. And uh, umpires involving themselves, I can't digest this. That's but great. then now that uh, it has been, uh, he, has, he is under investigation, it is definitely, I, won't, I, I mean, I would say that I am really devastated. And I will, now I will have a doubtful eye on anything and everything happening around me. That's true. But the point's been proven. Maxwell Pereira, yeah. former Joint Commissioner right. of the Delhi Police. Mr. Maxwell Pereira, also second person, second person who got it completely wrong was the Delhi Police Commissioner. I know what you think, that I always go after the Delhi Police. Well, what do you do? The Delhi Police on day one said there are no other people involved in the scam. Why did they say that? Mr. Pereira. Uh, okay, uh, Arnab, I think uh, you should first of all understand what the Delhi police case is and what the Mumbai police are doing. The Delhi police have stuck to the fixing part of it and, uh, and uh, n kept themselves totally away from the betting part of it. Betting part involves the uh, invoking of the Gambling Act. No. Here the fixing and the ram ramifications of the fixing is the main focus of Delhi Police why? investigation. Why? Why? Because that is what they unearthed. No, no, why? Through an intercept no, no, during why? a terror no, no. call. No, 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 one second. No, no, no. Can I be, can I be very direct with you, sir? I, a, a little bird tells me that Please. the reason the Delhi police is not looking at the betting racket is because it knows that many, many senior top people, including politicians, are involved in betting. And because Delhi police is closer to the politicians in Delhi. No, no, they don't want to tread on anyone's toes. Uh, Arnab, you are welcome to draw your conclusions because without drawing some absurd connections. So what is uh, absurd you know, about the link between betting and fixing, Mr. You, Pereira? You're, you're, it is the most logical yeah. link, I thought. No, no, not necessarily. Really? Yeah. No, 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 I don't. Okay. You must remember the case Mr. is under Mr. cheating. Mr. Pereira. The Mr. case is under cheating. No, no, no. The no. case is under Mr. defrauding. Mr. The Mr. case is under conspiracy. Mr. Pereira, Mr. Pereira, with due respect to you, I want to ask you, you have been a ex-police commissioner. How can you divide corruption? How can you draw lines between betting, between and, fixing? betting and fixing? and other things bowling and batting six spot fixing and not spot fixing corruption is corruption they have cheated the game they have cheated the people period 
Everybody has to go against all those people who have committed a crime as far as this game is concerned. How can you divide? How can you divide, uh, you know, draw lines between yes, different yes. areas of corruption? You if the Delhi police found something wrong, you, Mr. Pereira, sir, if, the, if, the, if, if Delhi police has found something wrong, fixing, for instance, is it not the duty of the Delhi police to get into what the Mumbai police exactly. is also trying to do and support the Mumbai police and no, I, 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 I want, no, I want. How can you do that? I, I want to ask you, Mr. Pereira, no, with all the earnestness, I want to ask you here once again, unless, unless the Delhi police... You can ask me anything if you give me a chance to talk. You keep on talking, 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 and you don't give me a chance to even open my mouth. I mean, all of you keep talking, keep on, and then when do you, when do I answer you? Sir, the link between betting and fixing is a con is, is ah, it's, a it's, it's, a, it's like a genetic link. You are you are you are the one who's trying to draw a line no, and uh, let let me explain. yeah, and the Delhi can police I, also can is. Can I explain to you the difference? Can I? Yeah, yeah, you please. Must remember, in two thousand, when the first match fixing was done. To this day, a case has not gone to court. Do you realize that? All this media hype about, you know, getting, getting aggrieved over a huge controversy that is going on, hype. No, what I media hype? Me, what are you going to send? No, to what court? media hype? Don't take that line. Don't, don't what criticize. Don't criticize the media all the time. Don't, don't always go after the media. Argument. Go after I the people. No, don't, don't, don't go after the media. Don't, 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 don't play it down. It's an atrocious argument. Don't play it down. No, don't play it down. If you want to shout, I can shout you down. No, no, Mr. I'm, I'm not shouting. I'm just telling you, don't shoot the messenger. Don't interrupt. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm trying to explain to you. Don't want me to explain. Sir, don't shoot the messenger. You're not letting me explain. Sir, I'm, I'm asking you a simple. Are hand your messenger, man? Who the hell is bothered? I'm really? giving you a very really? simple answer. Really? Give me a chance to answer. Really? Hang the messenger. Give me a chance to answer. I'm sure many Just people would like to hang the messenger. Just moment when I want to take a slot. I'm sure many yeah. people would like it to hang the, the messenger. messenger. Don't sidetrack. Nobody I'm sidetracking. Don't, I'm focused. You are don't not. Don't sidetrack. I'm trying to give you an answer. You don't want the answer. You don't want me to explain. Again and again, I'm trying to tell you, don't interrupt. The answer is to a question, and the question the to you, Mr. Maxwell Pereira, was a very simple question. How do you draw a line I between betting and listen, fixing? You can ask me any simple question, but then that simple question has to be heard. Some simple answer should be heard. So answer, Try to hear that. So answer, I'm listening. Don't give a chance to okay, hear that answer. Answer, I'm listening. Yeah, okay, please, don't interrupt. Listen, simple thing. A case has to go to court. You need evidence yeah. for that. All these discussions that you are doing, we need to send it to court. Delhi police has oh, an absolute airtight case as of now yeah. to go to court yeah. on, the, on the conspiracy and the, and the fixing part. They have got, they, they have, have intercepts, oh. they have got backup of video recordings, TV clips, they have, they have got the money trail, they have got recoveries from the money trail, they have got what evidence that is required. Try and understand so, that. No, no, rubbish. That case yes, sir, that's completely not true. Not an answer. That's, completely, that's completely incorrect, by the way. Yeah, they, they have got... No, one second, Mr. Mr. Panera, please listen. Please listen, Mr. Panera. Please listen. Mr. Panera, please listen. Accuser, no. you are the, yeah. Mr. Panera, I am not. I am placing a fact to you. If you can deny the fact that I'll take back my words. You tell me, Mr. Pereira, that Mr. Neeraj Kumar... You are the Kuma, accuser, you, you, you are no, no, the you, investigator, no, no, Mr. you Mr. are Pereira, the prosecutor, no, 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 you are the judge, and all everything. Come on, Mr. Mr. Pereira, Mr. Pereira I, want, I want to understand Mr. that somebody else, Mr. if you have called you someone, they know a little more than you in that subject. Mr. Pereira, I appreciate your knowledge. You are a very knowledgeable man. I am an illiterate person but still i will ask you a simple question a simple mr answer. parera please answer a very simple question that this evidence has been there for a very long time nobody's done anything and mr parera your delhi police commissioner was trying to close the case at three people he had no business i'm telling you to come at a press conference and say it's limited to three people in other words he was echoing the line of the bcci chief why was he echoing the line of the BCCI chief? The BCCI chief is wrong. Then Delhi police commissioner was also wrong. I want to now get in Sohel state into this who's listening on from Delhi. Sohel, can this be concealed okay, anymore to a okay, few okay, rotten eggs? Second. Please, Sohel please is responding. remember that Delhi police has arrested 18 people. You know, uh, I okay? have to... Don't stick to that first. Sohel from London. Maxwell. Maxwell. Yeah. Okay, I have three things to say. I have a lot of admiration and yeah. regard for Maxwell. He's a dear friend. 
there are two things that I haven't understood in Maxwell's argument. But Maxwell, don't interrupt me now when it when it's your turn next. The first I haven't understood is, as you rightly said, in 2000, a match fixing incident happened and no case was taken to court. It is not the business of the media or the citizen to take cases to court. It's yeah. that of the law enforcing agency. So thereby hangs a tail. Number two, the bigger question, Maxwell, is people have lost faith in the process of justice being delivered swiftly and in an airtight manner, as you rightly talk about. Yeah. I'm sitting here in London. Wherever I go, people are saying that now you have infested even cricket with corruption. So the general perception is that people will get away like people have gotten away, that this it's will be cronium. forgotten. And yeah. Maxwell, let me assure you that it is only the media and it is the continuous pressure of the media that will allow and enable the BCCI to be held accountable. Exactly. They are a power unto themselves, brazen to the core, who believe that they can get away because they've either bribed, co-opted or enshrined within everyone around them the principles of complete non-transparency, which have guided their uh, work ever since they went into business. Well, so as a citizen, as a consumer, and as a spectator, I have many concerns. A, why is Delhi police and Mumbai police fighting over one single incidence of- What a shame, corruption? what a shame. B, how long does it take, if you rightly say, if there's an airtight case, how long does it take for it to be taken to court? Number three, why should we not raise these issues in the media and why should messengers be hung? Number four, what is the solution? The solution is only one, that the BCCI must be made accountable, whether through RTI, through a government act, whatever the hell it is. Today, the BCCI is a horse that has bolted from the stables of transparency, decency and good governance. They must be reined in. Because ultimately, you have not let down the BCCI or Arnob Goswami or Suhail. You have let down an entire cricket-loving nation and an entire cricket-loving diaspora.